we got to start with a dude that, you know, I know we call him Dame Time, and a lot of dudes have multiple nicknames. I I'm gonna start calling dude Goodness Gracious, because it just feels like that's what you're constantly saying when you watch him make impossible shot after impossible shot. Yeah. And what we saw last night, we've never seen before, which I will lay out uh, in a moment all the reasons why we've never seen that before. But yeah, man, just w w what were you thinking watching Damian Lillard put on a performance, an unprecedented performance? What was your reaction to that? Well, let me tell you about what my reaction is to your comment off the top of the show. I have no idea what you're talking about. I really don't know what you're referring to with smoke. I don't know why I would be delivering any kind of smoke today. So I, I, I just come spend the rest of the show trying to figure out what you're referring to. But as far as Dame <laughs> okay. is concerned, um, look, man, I've gotten to the point with Dame and I know, look, I, I know Portland, you don't want to hear this. I would love to see Dame in the Eastern Conference. I'd love to see either, either see Dame in the Eastern Conference where he has a clearer path to the NBA Finals, theoretically, <laughs> or I'd like to see Portland yeah. actually get him <laughs> another real piece. Like, like one more guy. This, for example, um, I know it's not going to happen, but you mentioned Embiid. That's just like a guy who comes to mind. Like, I'd like to see Portland create a super team like they did back in the day when they went to the NBA Finals. You got, you know, Clyde Drexler and, and Jerome Kersey, and you got those guys. You had some depth. You uh, want Terry that. Porter. I'd you like to see that. them do it. Does he want that? He I mean, we know to. he's not the type yeah. to leave for yeah. that. Do you he's think smart. he wants that? He's smart. He's smart. Yes. He, of course he does. So look, I'm not so sure. Dame knows how to, Dame knows how to. I mean, I'm not saying he doesn't want more help. I'm not saying he doesn't want more help. But I don't know that he wants a super team per se. Um, a super team that he is. He's the a super last, team he's that the comes last to him. of a dying breed. He's the anchor, the anchor of the super team. And, and, and look, we know I don't want to get uh, too off track, but super team is not new. What's new about it is that players created as, as opposed to general managers. I but I'm talking oh, about. Of course, Dame. I understand that, but I'm saying I don't know that Dame wants another. Look, with in no disrespect to C.J. McCollum. I don't know that I, I understand exactly what you're talking about. I don't know that Dame wants a kind of like the Knicks. Okay. And the report that they were going to be hunting for a disgruntled superstar. I don't know that Dame wants another superstar. I don't know that he wants it to look like Brooklyn. You know, we know he's not going to them. Why not? I don't know if he wants it to be a big three. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, I just do don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying, no, I'm that saying but like what because Dame's different. I know, but just why am tell I saying me, why am I skeptical okay, about it? Because Dame is different. Dame is different. Oh, okay, he's Dame different, different. But, and but Dame, tell me he's different in that he doesn't he wants to keep losing because they're about to lose. They're going to lose the series, right? I mean, the, the dude dude gives you 55 points. I don't think he wants ridiculous a step back threes. <laughs> yep. Okay, if not for a quick, it's not necessarily a quick fix. Why he's there. He's already there. They've already got talent. Add one more piece, and instead of being down 3-2 to the Nuggets, you're up 3-2 on the Nuggets, and you're about to go into the second round uh, and, well, and let's the just say this. my finals with a chance of winning the conference. They can't well, win the second. conference wait a second. now. Before, before, let, but, but wait a second. Before, before, we move, before we say anything, let's do a little bit of housekeeping real quick. All right, just a little bit of housekeeping. I think I think I think this needs to be said. It's stating the obvious, but it needs to be said to set this conversation up. It's three two. Okay, they lost a double overtime last night. It, despite his Herculean effort. It could go to game seven. They could still win this series. It's not over. Yeah, so let's not talk could. from a place yeah. of this series is over. I don't well, I don't think we should talk. Okay, I'm, again, look, you can you we, can be let's safe. not act like they can't deliver. No, 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 you no, no, you do that. They can't you take they that came down. They came from back. They beat. Listen, I know it's a different team. I know the Nuggets have the MVP, but let's not act like they didn't beat this same team down three two. I think it was year before last. Okay, so it's been done before. Uh, I, 
Yeah, okay, has. that's fair. That's fair that year. you're predicting you that. Had. But just know that if they had won in double overtime last night, if 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 Austin Rivers prayer was not answered and it, or, or CJ McCollum doesn't step out of bounds, if they win in double overtime last night, we're having a different conversation. But I'm gonna stop. No, but no, we're still having the same conversation. You were on about. All right. If they I, win, I, Mike, up I'm having two? the same. Okay, okay. I'm having the okay. same conversation because it's a bigger picture. It's bigger. All right, they could win the okay. series. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think they're gonna lose in six. You know, okay. 55 points, 10. And even if they do, you, you don't think they have enough to contend for a championship. Yeah. Right. So that's the bigger even picture. If they win is, the series, they, it's not enough. Yeah. I would like to see Dame Lillard on a big stage. On an NBA final situation, a Western Conference Finals where they have a chance to win. They went to the Western Conference Finals, what, three, four years ago against Golden State, and it really wasn't much of a contest. Did they win a game? They, they, they got swept, didn't they? I, I, I can't even remember, but it, I just remember Dame having a chance to win a game at the end and Andre Iguodala swallowing them up with a great defensive play. I, this guy is so good. He's so entertaining. He's so steady. I'm not going to say the, the U word. He's not that. Oh, he is the U word. He's maybe underappreciated, not underrated, underappreciated. I'd love to see him just p compete for a re on a championship team. Compete on a real championship team. And so it's just. Uh, it's a shame. It's another U. It's, it's a shame. I'll it's unfortunate. I'll I'll unfortunate. You know, and I, and I got that that's where you were going. And this is the struggle that I'm having with that. And I, I'm not, I may not articulate this well, but just bear with me. I'll bear with you. I think there's something. There's something about those 55 points happening in defeat. And I can't quite put my finger on what it is. And I get what you're saying. It, you know, it's about winning championships. Hell, it's about winning. And even Dame last night was like, it doesn't matter. We didn't win. I take exception to that. And I think. I think for, for the, the story, the, the story of the NBA, the story of NBA history, it needs little guys. It needs the guys who don't force their way out. And this is not me. You know, this is not an Michael. I think you know this, enough about me to know that this is not an anti player empowerment movement for all the reasons we've articulated right. ad nauseum since we've been talking about this, but it is nice to see a guy try to put a, a smaller market and an undermanned team on his shoulders. And those 55 in defeat, I think there's something legendary about it. I don't I, you know what I mean? I don't know if it makes sense, but it's like for it's almost like rock. It's almost like the first Rocky when Rocky became the champ. It was like, all right, still still a good series, but Rocky was was about the underdog losing to Apollo and that may not be the perfect comparison, but what I'm saying about Dame is that watching this this Oakland dude watching this dude that's like no I'm not going to be the person ring chasing and joining up with my competition. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. Even if the old fashioned way was the same, just packaged differently. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. I'm not going to seek out, you know, superstar help. Something about watching this dude do this last night and losing that only adds to his status, only gives him that much more respect. I know that's twisted. I know that's twisted. And I know that's bass backwards because the object of the game yeah. is to win and you want guys to win championships. I guess what I'm getting at is I don't I don't look at it as a shame or unfortunate because I don't see his performance as any less significant because it came in defeat. I don't see Damian Lillard as any less of a player if he doesn't compete or win a championship. And maybe that's, that's where this is that's coming from argument. for me is I'm not a rings guy. Well, but it's all the same for me in that I look at Dame and his brilliance and that's enough. Just just how he plays and, and, and the way he performs win or lose is enough for me. And so maybe that's why I look at it as a, there's a there's a, a a different level of respect for somebody trying to do it the way that he's doing it and even coming up short despite yeah. putting up 55. If he puts up 55 in a win, it's one story. I think in a weird way, the story is better. And at the risk of rambling, I'm going to stop here. In a weird way, the story yeah. is better that he does it in defeat. You know, Leonidas in the 300, they died at the end. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? But it was like, yeah. you know, they put up a good fight. There's something something about a guy putting up a good fight. You know, and, and his and his guys letting him down. I know Damian Lillard would probably smack me in the face if he was sitting if sitting here listening to me say this. And I and like I said off the top, I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's a feeling that I had last night. I'm like, you know what? Respect. Respect. Well, he gave yeah. it everything oh, he had. Respect is there. Respect is there. It, it, his brilliance uh, speaks for itself. What I'm saying is I want to see more of it. Because I want to see more of it against yeah, more. You want to see several rounds the of only it. Way to, <laughs> the only way to see more you want to of see it, it is it's for in him. the summer. Yeah, right. the, only, the only way to yeah. see more of it is for him to add to his team. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen doing it the way he does it. Sure, it's the old fashioned way, but the old fashioned way. Listen, I don't know what what uh, we got to have Dame on the show to have him describe it. I want to hear it in his own words because I I would say to him if if he is getting caught in that trap in that quicksand of, of the social media quicksand of hey, you never won a championship. That's one argument. Oh, you never won a championship. So you're not allowed in this room or hey, you're doing it the right way. We respect you like they're both. They're both problematic because they, they, you can turn around. It can be used against you at any time. You haven't won a championship can be used against you. Oh, yeah. How great are you? Oh, you're better than Kyrie. You got better numbers and so and so. How many championships you got? It's always a, let me check your credentials. On the flip side, it's hey, we like the way you're doing it. We like the way you're doing it. You're doing it the right way. At the end of your career, too bad you didn't win a championship. <laughs> look, man, look. I forget about what people say. The old school, the old school general managers put together super teams. They just did. Red Auerbach did. Jerry Crowd, all of them did it. Yeah, but Michael, and now, but see, I, I think the, pro- now, the problem I have with what you're saying is you're reducing, you're, you're reducing, and this is not a criticism, it's just where, I, where we part company. Go ahead. You're reducing Dame's career to whether or not he wins a championship. And I guess, I'm, and I'm going to go the opposite that. extreme. That's a I'm gonna go the, but I'm, a, That's I'm, a stretch. But, but I'm going I the didn't... opposite extreme, though. Okay, well, here's a stretch. But here's a stretch. Okay, I'll stretch. But maybe, I, I'm, maybe I'm hearing that. Because I'm going the opposite extreme. It doesn't matter whether he wins a ring or not. And I think there's an exception okay. to every rule. Like most great I players, bet you he feel that most way. great players. I guarantee he doesn't feel that way. No, of course he doesn't. Of course he doesn't. But I think I don't. But he also doesn't feel okay. I'll come back at, with, at you with this. He also doesn't feel like the series is over like you do. He also doesn't look at it as I don't have right. enough. I don't think Damian Lillard is setting back, setting back and saying, okay. man, I, I, I can't win with these guys. He's not the type to pull a James Harden and be like, you know what? I've given it all I can. I can't win with these guys. And for me, Damian Lillard, yeah. I don't think whenever he retires, whenever he retires, I don't think people are going to look back and say, yeah, but he never won a ring. Damian Lillard, just like your favorite rapper's favorite rapper is Black Thought, Damian Lillard is your favorite player's favorite player. Damian Lillard has all the respect without a ring. He has he has all the respect and a ring is not going to give Damian respect. Lillard any more respect. The most on brand brand thing that Damian Lillard could do right now is continue to be brilliant against the odds in Portland. Like he's not underrated. He's not underappreciated. The legend of Damian about, Lillard is, lies in his loyalty. Maybe but the legend of Damian Lillard it lies when in its loyalty. And there's a romanticism about what he's done and what he continues to do that's different no, than the other people who have gone ring chasing and still don't have the validation. Hold on, Michael. I'm on to something here. Don't I, say I'm ring actually chasing. on to something here. Don't I'm on to something. Ring chasing. Don't no, no, say no. Ring chasing. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That has a negative connotation to it. Uh, you're right. That does yes. have a negative connotation to it. Um, I, I, I'm on to something here. I'm on to something. I'm actually I know I'm on to something. I found it. It took me a while. I had to talk through it, but I know I'm on to something here. Okay. Kevin Durant. Some would say when he was healthy or even the best player in the NBA with apologies to LeBron James. But Kevin Durant will never get the same type of respect as Damian Lillard already has. And Kevin Durant got two more rings than Damian Lillard and counting perhaps. Okay, James Harden, if they break through and win now, will never get the kind of respect as brilliant as Harden is as Damian Lillard has. Damian Lillard, like 
The streets love Damian Lillard and not just because he got bars on top of his shots. There is something about Damian like people love this man. He has already won the crowd people and, and they only love him more for the fact that he's putting it all on him and saying, you know what? We down eight with a minute to go in overtime. Watch this. Like I, I think there's some I don't know that he needs a ring for his reputation's sake. Some people do. Some people Not need that validation of a ring. Some people's careers are empty without a ring. I don't think Damian Lillard is one of those guys. I, I firmly believe that he has all the respect that he can get. Not I don't think I don't I think he still wants it. I'm not speaking for him. I'm talking about people that love basketball, that watch the game, that appreciate what he's doing. And I don't know how you cannot appreciate him at this point. I don't think people are looking at him saying, "Yeah, but you know what's missing? A ring." How are you going to get a ring, Dame? I don't think people are looking at it that way. Yeah, well, I am. I, and not 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 for his reputation, not like, <laughs> "Oh, you hey, your your game." Yeah, well, speak your for game yourself. Is lacking. <laughs> His, right. His game lacks nothing. His game, the game itself lacks nothing. Of course, he gets respect. I think most players, I think 99% of them really want to win a championship. And when they don't have it, there's some regret. Sure, you got money. Sure, you, you played in the NBA, which, which most people I'm not people talking about Dane himself. Say, played in the NBA at a high level. But you know, I'm but not talking man. about Dame himself. You know, I'm not talking about what Dame wants. You, you, or, uh, just to be yeah. clear. Okay, cool. Just to be clear. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah, but we it, it's it's just the way we look at NBA players without a ring. You, you know, I'm off the top of your head for a reason. Because there's just there's just some gap there. There's something that you just want to place on a shelf. It's an imaginary shelf. You want to place a Larry O'Brien trophy on there for them and they don't have it and you can't. You got like you, but, I, yeah, name, but it's, name, you can tell me like right now. I'm gonna prove it name three players. who don't have a ring. You know it. I'm, <laughs> you know it off the top of your head. Yeah. You Barkley Miller Malone. Yeah. Bar yeah, I mean you go down the yeah. list, you know, but, but here's the thing I man. Mean, this, it's not it's not for we said this the other day about Russell Westbrook. I, I said this about Russell Westbrook and you and you thought it was condescending in a backhanded compliment. I remember I was like, oh, I didn't mean it that way. And I was like some dudes are not destined to win a championship. They're not meant to win a championship. Oh, and that's okay. And that's okay. It's not an indictment of that individual. See, the problem is when somebody doesn't win a ring as a superstar, we turn it on them and was like, well, what didn't you do either? What didn't you what didn't you get done in a certain moment? What didn't you do as a player to elevate the rest of your team or in modern times? What didn't you do when it came to taking your destiny in your own hands and finding a way to hook up with the players to get you over the top? We make it about that individual in a team game. Yeah, because I'm being consistent here, Michael. I don't care about rings. I don't look at I mean, oh, they're wow. tiebreakers. And as a matter of fact, preview, I'm gonna bring up rings in a minute when it comes to another player that we're gonna talk about later. So I'm gonna bring it up, but I'm gonna still be consistent on this. I just don't look at somebody's career as lacking or a failure or coming up short if their team did not win a championship. So for Dane, if he however he chooses to go about it, the way it, this is I, I said favorite rappers favorite rapper. He's your favorite player's favorite player. The best rappers of all time, yeah. Michael. And we don't do we measure them by record sales? Do we measure them by Grammys? No. Do we measure no. them by downloads or is it just bars? That's is rapper, it just though. bars? Is it just skills? That's rappers, right? That's rappers, though. That, but I think like, the that, same. Right. I think I think Damian Lillard. It is not just because he that's is a, a rapper. I think rappers Damian Lillard has that same thing. He has something intangible, yeah. Michael Holly. Damian Lillard has something intangible that a, that that, that, a, that, a, that a Larry O'Brien Trophy cannot compare to. It's just universal respect. That there are people with rings. I, I already said this. I love seeing people with rings trophy. that will never get the love that Lillard gets. Okay, I know I'm on to something. Yeah, those here. are complimentary. He doesn't need a ring. Those are I, you, you're on to something. He's like, uh -oh. those are complimentary players who will get it. All right, okay, complimentary players with the Larry O'Brien. You can't hear me. Oh, there you go. You can't I hear me. I, wait, I lost you for a second. Uh, no, I got you now. I lost you for a second. Thank Austin Rivers. Thank you. It came back. Wait, what happened? What'd you just say? I said I I'm saying, on to something. What'd you say? Maybe they're maybe there are complimentary players with the championship uh, ring who won't get the respect that Dame has. But 
the main guys, the main guys do get that respect because they got it. Like you, 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 you go back some, to and I say mean, they got it. Like some to, of them, the way some of them, the oh, way man. they got it. Some I, people just, I mean, the way they got it. There are some people that's just gonna be like, you know what? But you know, again, especially these modern times. These yeah. modern times, they got some people the way they went about getting it. They got people gonna assign asterisk to them because of all these big threes running around. And I'm, I'm sounding like the old man yelling at clouds to get off my lawn. That's not what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm simply saying these young guys, Damian Lillard. They don't yeah, understand. No, Damian Lillard, man, like, yeah, it's like I, I'm with you on wanting to see more of him and see him on the biggest stages. I want to see more. But it's I like wanna, this is what I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm going I'm, to I'm not it's not like it's not like I, I'll do it's not one. like I'm gonna forget what he did last night because it was in the first round. It's not like it means less to me that yeah. performance that spiritual experience that Kevin Durant described. Spiritual. It doesn't mean less to me because it was in the first round. Yeah, it doesn't mean less to me. All I right. got I got to rattle off these numbers. Make your point. I got to rattle off these numbers to you though. No, rattle right, right off those numbers. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring back. I want to hear the numbers. You first. sure? Go, go with the numbers. Because I know you. I know you. Yeah, hate, I know you hate numbers. All right. If, if this is too complicated for you, no, I don't for hate me, for you, let me know. Okay. If it's... No, it's not that complicated. You know <laughs> I'm what? Never you know living what, that down. You know what number? I'm never living that down. You know what number is not? Com- <laughs> you know what number is not complicated? One Rings. or two. That's usually when they lose. Yeah. <laughs> in the first round or second round. So look. Come yeah. on, let's let's get to some complex okay. situations for the for the Blazers. Go ahead, let's hear the numbers. Yeah, I mean, obviously, okay. Just to recap what we saw last night: twelve threes, a new NBA postseason record, ten assists. By the way, with one turnover in fifty-two minutes. Okay, he's the fourth player ever to go for fifty and ten in the playoffs. Only player with fifty-five and ten in a postseason game, and in regular season. Postseason and now play in before last night. We've never seen somebody score 50 points with 10 assists and 10 threes in the same damn game. Okay, but wait, there's more. Okay. He shot 17 to 24 from the floor 12 for 17 from three and nine for 10 from the line. Michael. This is analytics. Wait for it. Highest single game true shooting percentage in NBA postseason History, Michael Holly. History. And according to one metric, okay, according to John Hollinger's game score, single most outstanding individual performance in a playoff game since 1984. Okay. So before I before I was old enough to appreciate basketball, that's what we saw last night from Damian Lillard. And the fact the fact that it came in a defeat, just it it, it just I, there's a mystique to it. I, I'm sorry if I'm not making sense, but feelings no, don't sense. make sense sometimes. There's I mean, a mystique mean, to what he did last night. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to tell you. Do you know who the general manager of the Portland Trailblazers is? His name is Neil Oshie. Uh, O'Shea, right? Neil Oshie. Yeah. So I would say to him, this ain't this. This is for free. This is not come from. This is not come from coming from Dame. It's coming from me. Why don't you make a trade? <laughs> Bring in one more player and then add it to Dame. Like leave Dame out of it. So the mystique stays. He stays in Portland. He's never publicly asking for more help. He doesn't sell out his teammates. Give this man a super team and let him do it the old fashioned way. Hey, like, hey, don't, easy, like hey, remember easier Dr. said than done. Remember Dr. J came out, we, we were clowning Dr. J. He was like, oh, these young boys today, they got these super yeah, teams. We never yeah. had a super team. Right. Even though the revisionist I played history, with you was Andrew right. Tony and Moses Malone, <laughs> you know, <laughs> even though I played on the super team against the Lakers with Magic and Kareem and Worthy. Okay, forget about it. Against the Celtics with the big three. No, no, don't worry about it. He didn't ask for it. Dr. J didn't ask for it. It was given to him. So do it the same way. Go back to the 80s. Just give him an extra guy and let him cook because that's a man who deserves. I want a ring for him. If he doesn't want a ring for himself, I want a ring for him even more because the fact is you're being very uh, open minded. I appreciate it. You're being very progressive saying, oh, it's not about the ring. It's about the performance. You sound like Kyrie. It's about the art. Appreciate the art. Appreciate the art. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
It's exactly but they, it. Yeah, that's it. it. Yes. Okay. But you know, when we talk about the best players of either the 80s or 90s or early 2000s, we usually talk about the champions. Whether that's subconscious or not, we talk about champions because it matters more than we think. So you talk about the best player of the I, 80s. I know you history. Talk about champs. You don't say. I know history. Nobody says Bernard Kings. Kings. I know. Well, I know history remembers Kings. As long as and I know Bernard. winners write history. But what <laughs> right, I'm saying yeah. is clever. What I'm saying is, thank you. Don't act like, like we don't remember great players who didn't win. You just rattled them off. Like everybody is, Michael. There's still yeah, not that many franchises a, that have won championships in, in ringless, NBA history. Because they're in a ringless museum. That's why we remember them. There, there's most the people Lou, are. and then there's the other museum. <laughs> Mo, my, well, most people <laughs> are. Most stars are. There are I mean, right. how, how, how everybody right. go win a ring when people that play for the Celtics, the Lakers, Jordan's Bulls, the Warriors, when they, when they collected them all? You know, like, like only a handful of franchises, they've concentrated the rings to, mo to uh, the, the heat. There's a lot of people who will go yeah. through their careers and the stars will not align for these stars to actually win championships. We don't forget and, what they and, did. And the reason we yeah, don't forget right. Barkley How's because he didn't win a championship. Well, yeah, it doesn't make him less great. Hey, look, hey, watch him. Watch them. You ever watch Shaq and Barkley? And when they, when no, they, when they start to the play NBA. fight, never seen it. No, nope. okay. No, well, idea I'm what saying, you're talking about. when they start to play fight, <laughs> when they oh, start I know. to play fight, Shaq drops the mic at every opportunity. It talks about rings at every opportunity. He brings it up and it's like it honestly right. it's lame, but it's funny. I mean, okay, Shaq. Great. Yeah. You won rings. Ain't no comeback for it. If Shaq would have too bad would have gone up against and Jordan in his in prime, the back maybe of his he, mind, he doesn't. If Shaq wouldn't have had Kobe, he might not. If Shaq wouldn't have had Wade, he might not. If Shaq wouldn't have went and played for Pat like Riley, he might it's not. True. That's but, true. But that's, that's the truth. True. And so that's all facts. And, and so if you're if you're a player, that, that's right. So if you're a player, and I wonder if, if, if any Goodwill will agree with me on this, we'll talk. We'll, we'll holler him in a second. But if you're a player, you're saying, "Well, I'm better than that dude." I'm just as good, but I don't have a general manager who's as shrewd as his. I, you know, I didn't have this opportunity. Man, if I had that opportunity, now Barkley had one <laughs> opportunity. He had one good opportunity, right. and they blew it. They blew it. In fact, they had control of the series. They blew it. As a matter of fact, they, their own they coach. They blew it. Uh, rest. They rest blew in peace. it. Rest in peace. Yeah, they did. Remember this. I mean, that's, uh, that's I think harsh. It was game five or game <laughs> six. Well, they did. Paul uh -huh. Westfall, uh, I think, it, and and uh, I just my memory is a little shaky on this. I think it was Game Six, the winning the winning uh, game. They were in control of it. Yeah. Westfall six, yeah. says. Yeah. Westfall does a choke. I think to Dan Marley, he's like you choked, and he was he was laughing, but not really, because they had a chance to win that game and extend the series. As a matter of fact, I think Charles Barkley came out and started talking some trash to Scotty. Because he thought they were going to win the game. So he had my point is he had one super team and he blew it. Jordan great as he is great as he was super right. teams LeBron yeah. super teams all of them bird magic and Dame Lillard fighting a good fight with the one star short Portland Trailblazers in Portland. Yeah, I, I just on. I, would, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as to I guess say somebody blew it against Michael Jordan. Number one, that's that's harsh. That's that's a different way. That's a different spin on it, Michael. But I will say something about that. I, I want to revise um, real quick before we before we uh, check in with Vinny. Um, we had a conversation when Damian Lillard actually, I think it was a uh, was it Dan Patrick where he gave a, as usual a very thoughtful answer about Great. why he believes yep. he's the greatest shoot, shooter ever. And I remember, I, I don't know if I included it in my honorable mention list because I, I know what I know what I said and I, and I already I, I feel guilty for saying it. I said the greatest shooter of all time list goes Steph, Clay, uh, Ray, Reggie, Larry, and I don't know that that group can be cracked with apologies to Dirk and Steve Nash. There are two people who uh, have something to say about that who would like a word with me 
that play in today's game and that's Kevin Durant and that's Damian Lillard. And when you look at the de his, his degree of difficulty is on par with Steph Curry. I don't care what the percentages say, but when it comes to shot making, there's not a more cold blooded dude in the NBA. Again, I'm gonna keep calling him goodness gracious. Maybe it'll stick. Maybe it won't, but there's just nobody like him. Hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.